Baboons and chimps are territorial and tend to band together to defend themselves against predators, invaders, and intruders. They have been known to attack humans and can be destructive at times. Baboons and chimps, like humans, are omnivores, so hunting live prey isn't out of the question. If you want to see baboons and chimps show you what they can do, stick around as we look at baboons and chimps eating other animals. Number 8. This time a baboon kidnaps a fawn and bites some flesh off its back. The mother of the fawn charges the baboon, who repels her by stretching his arm and putting his hand in her face. Unfortunately, the mother is powerless to save her child from this baboon's clutches. A baboon has taken this fawn from its mother, and the baboon is holding the fawn on a rock, high enough to protect it from the fawn's mother. The baboon is unconcerned about the mother at this point and continues to eat the fawn. This video is challenging to watch. This baboon devours this baby impala as if it were a bruschetta just grilled. The animal is dead, but it wasn't when the baboon began eating it. Baboons are vegetarians for most of the year, but that doesn't stop them from hunting impala, as seen in this video. This baboon has caught and killed a small impala, and even though the primate appears gentle and kind, he's already torn some meat off this unfortunate victim. Number 7. Chimpanzees rarely eat meat. Even though chimps prefer the meat of other animals, it accounts for only 2% of their diet. As this chimp searches for food, there is a lot of activity high up in the trees. When a chimp snatches one of the little monkeys, they panic, and rightly so. Chimps have sharp teeth, but to kill their prey, they strike it with lethal force against a hard surface. They're incredibly powerful, so a small monkey like the one in the video has no chance of survival. It's amazing how aggressive chimps can be. This chimp can be seen digging into the body of a dead monkey. Chimps are not the friendly vegetarians we were led to believe. They do eat a mostly fruit-based diet, but they are omnivores and will eat other animals. These chimps are looking for the colobus monkey, which is one of their favorite foods. The male colobus tries to frighten the chimps away. Even though he isn't much bigger than them, he continues fearlessly and calls out to the rest of the team. Reinforcements arrive with the intention of completing the task. The entire family joins in on the hunt. The catch is fantastic and there's plenty of meat to go around. A community-wide hunt like this brings family members closer together. Number 6. This thumbnail is terrifying to look at and it portrays the baboon as a monster. He has devoured the entire impala leaving only the legs and head of the animal. He's still eating, so he's probably not done yet. This baboon is destroying this poor baby gazelle, but it is still alive. I can't believe the impala is still alive and moving as the baboon shreds the impala to pieces. The other baboon, sitting next to the perpetrator, goes about his business as if nothing is wrong. This baboon is attempting to slaughter another small gazelle, but when mom appears, the baboons scatter. Another baboon snatches the baby gazelle and flees with it. Mom pursues the baboon, who drops the baby once more. One of the baboons eventually kills the baby by carrying it up into a tree. As if it had just ordered ribs and fries, this baboon is eating through this baby gazelle. Meanwhile, the dead impala watches in horror as her young is devoured. Number 5. A baboon is bothering these two chimps, and one of them is fleeing the other. When the baboon attacks the weaker of the two chimps, the stronger chimp attacks the baboon. The stronger chimp eventually chases the baboon away. Baboons outnumber chimps by a factor of four in this area. For the most part, the two species coexist peacefully. But because the baboon competes for food, conflict can arise. Because he has the intelligence to use a weapon, even a young chimp can intimidate a full-grown baboon. The bluff is effective, but the attacks can be quite real at times. A group of chimps has kidnapped and killed a young baboon. They'll gorge themselves on the carcass. The chimp has discovered some younger baboons with whom to play. This type of intimate relationship, complete with tickling and laughter, is extremely uncommon in the wild between such disparate species. The chimp's mother is not overprotective, but she does keep an eye on her child in case he gets into trouble, which he appears to be planning. He's chosen a large baboon who isn't interested in playing. That is sufficient for the mother. 
She snatches her youngest and then calls out her eldest, who is taunting the large baboon. The mother scares the baboon away with a well-aimed rock. Number 4. When a leopard attempts to capture a baboon in a tree, the baboon nearly kills the leopard. When baboons encounter a leopard, they are known to be aggressive and defensive, even if the leopard is not attempting to pursue them. In fact, leopards have been known to be killed when baboons swarm in large numbers. In this video, the leopard survives and learns an important lesson about baboon hunting. They should be hunted at night. Leopards' eyesight allows them to see six times better at night than baboons. A normal leopard would never go out in broad daylight to stalk baboons. The troop appears to be completely unconcerned about the impending threat. She's out in the open, but she goes unnoticed until the troop wakes up and smells the coffee. They band together and attack the big cat, leaving the leopard with only one option – flee as quickly as possible. This baboon appears to have stolen a cheetah cub and is attempting to hide it, but it does not yet harm the cub. When the baboon realizes there are too many eyes on it, it decides to flee with the cub in its grasp. Number 3. Zoos demonstrate both the beauty and cruelty of the animal kingdom. A raccoon became trapped in the chimp enclosure at the St. Louis Zoo and was unable to escape. The chimps were harassing the intruder, throwing it around and sending it flying. Initially, the chimp surrounded and pursued the defenseless raccoon as it attempted to flee. The raccoon dashed across a large boulder, narrowly avoiding the grasp of the primates. One monkey, on the other hand, grabbed its tail and threw it across the enclosure. Another chimp caught the raccoon by the tail as it attempted to flee through a drainpipe. Someone speculated the raccoon's head got stuck in the drainpipe. It is possible that this is how it got in. Another chimp began punching the raccoon when it was defenseless. What a shame. Allow it to leave. Allow it to pass. Some people found the raccoon fight amusing. I'm not sure if that was intended to be humorous, because seeing a living creature in distress, even if it's a pest like a raccoon, is never enjoyable. Raccoons are notorious for sticking their noses where they don't belong, with the following results. The chimps gave the raccoon a piece of their mind because it had not been invited into their enclosure. Number 2. When baboons band together, they can be extremely dangerous. A horde of baboons chases away a cheetah trying to get a drink of water. The baboons attack the cheetah and it flees without hesitation. When baboons band together, they can be extremely dangerous. A group of baboons chases away a cheetah that is attempting to make a kill. The baboons attack the cheetah and it flees without hesitation. Aside from the leopard, the cheetah is the only cat that a swarm of baboons can compete with. These baboons will not back down in the face of a cheetah coalition. And while the cats could possibly take a baboon one on one, these cheetahs are cautious and vigilant. Things heat up, but the conflict only lasts a few minutes before things return to normal. Number 1. These baboons confront and threaten a stray dog. As the baboons chase another dog away in the distance, the dog maintains its position. The dog is nowhere to be found, so it must have decided to flee. This baboon charges a dog in the street, but the dog fights back and chases the baboon. The baboon retaliates, but when it is clear the dog is not going to back down, the baboon flees. Baboons and chimps can become very dangerous, and they can hold their own in the bush. My favorite was how the baboons ganged up on the leopard and chased him away. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our look at baboons and chimps eating other animals. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.